Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about the package we put together. So, Real Sim Gear sells this G1000 suite that you see right here. But Real Sim Gear also does not sell computers and monitors and things like that. So we wanted to put a package together that combined all that. And we also combine it with documentation and videos and tips on how to set this up. And we can also support you you know, by providing the necessary cables and also uh, through remote support if you have trouble setting it up. The other thing that we do is when you get these things from Real Sim Gear, you have to install, excuse me, you have to update the firmware in these things. And each one has two firmwares in it. So there's two USB ports on here, two USB ports on here. Each USB port has its own firmware. So that's four firmware, firmware updates. And we take care of the firmware updates for you. We also install the plugin for you. And we also do the artwork. That's, there's a little artwork file that you have to download um, to get rid of the bezels around the, the uh, panels. And so we take care of that as well. So. Um, it makes it a lot easier for you. You're not wondering, well, what kind of computer do I put this with? What kind of monitor do I put this with? And we have a whole package here, and uh, it works really nice together. So we're going to take a look at it now. So first, let's talk about what comes in the package. Um, we'll go top down. So first, we have the monitor here. We, by default, we put it with a 49-inch ultra-wide monitor. It's 1080p vertically, so in other words, 1080 lines top to bottom, but it's 3840 in width, which is twice the size of a normal 1080p display. So one way to look at this it's, is it's like having two 27-inch monitors with no bezel down the middle. That's really the easiest way to look at it. Um, it is a little more expensive than doing two 27-inch monitors, but it also eliminates having to plug in two devices into your computer because you're limited to a total of four displays on the video card, and we're using one, two, three at the moment because each of these panels takes up a monitor connection. Now, we do have an option for a 32-inch 1080p display, and what I'll mention about that is, number one, of course, it's not going to be as wide. It'll be about as wide as these two panels here, about the same width. Um, the other thing I'll mention is the stand is a fixed stand, and it would be sitting down too low. It would be down like this, so you'll just have to plan to have some sort of stand for it to sit on. It could be a pile of books, or you could go buy a monitor stand or whatever, but you'll need something to elevate it you know, about six inches if you decide to go with a 32-inch monitor. And then, of course, we have the ability to, just to delete, delete the monitor altogether, and you can just go with whatever you want, a TV or um, a bigger monitor, a smaller monitor, or whatever. But we kind of think the 32 and the 49 are probably two of the best options. Um, another decent option would be a 43-inch TV. Um, that's something you could get on your own but a 43-inch TV uh, is a pretty good size for this setup as well. Uh, working our way down, we have the Real Sim Gear uh, G1000 Suite. Now, when you buy this suite, normally it's $2,000, and that does not include the stand. We're also including the stand, which costs about $200. So really, what you see here normally costs about $2,200, because it's $2,000 for the G1000 Suite, and almost 200 for the stands to hold them. The stands are optional, but uh, because some people have their own panels, homemade panels that they put these in, but we figure most of our customers are going to want the stands. Now, again, working our way down, we have a stick here. We have the Thrustmaster uh, T16000M stick. It's, it's a really nice stick. It's not crazy expensive, but it is a very well liked. The guys at uh, Pilot Workshops really like this particular stick. They recommend it, so um, it is a really good option. We also give the option, if you want a yoke, you can get a, um, a CH yoke. You can also get the Logitech yoke. Do bear in mind, if you get a yoke and you, you strap it down to your table here, then that's going to shift all of this back. 
Um, not a big deal, but you'll need at least a three foot deep um, table. And you, you know, these things will also be a little bit further away from you than they are currently. With the stick, you can set it off to the side. You could sit it on a little table here down in, in the middle if you're, you know, wanted it in the middle, or you could put it over on the right. I know a, a lot of the planes that use sticks, they have a stick over to the left, like the Cirrus planes. So, um, and then of course you can delete the controller altogether and, and you could buy a Yoko, which we also sell. As far as the pedals go, same kind of deal. We, we option it with the CH Pro pedals. You can change to the Logitech pedals if you want, or you can delete the pedals and use your own, or delete the pedals and get the uh, ones from Virtual Fly, the Ruddos, which we also sell. Um, so that's kind of a rundown of the hardware. And then last but not least is the PC, the computer. It's basically our RTX system, but with it upgraded to the RTX 2070 graphics card. Um, it gets really good frame rate, really good performance. Um, we do give you the option to upgrade it to the 2080. It's probably not necessary for what you're doing, but we do have that option out there. Um, we also give you the option to upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM. Odds are it's not necessary unless you're doing something kind of weird. X-Plane typically consumes, you know, about four gigs of RAM unless you're doing some kind of special things that cause it to consume more. Uh, and that's a really good, you know, gaming computer as well. And so it'll perform very nicely. So that is a rundown of what comes with the, uh, the package and look for another video where I kind of put it through its paces.